Good evening, I'm Chris Jacobs. Nicole has the night off. We're also following continuing coverage out of Brownsville. Just over 24 hours ago, a jury found Gustavo Tiarina Sandoval guilty in the murder of an off-duty Border Patrol agent back in 2014. CBS 4's Abril Preciado joins us live outside the courtroom where the jury returned to court to determine his fate. Abril. Chris, more witnesses are taking the stand in this punishment phase in the murder trial of Gustavo Tijerina Sandoval, who was just found guilty yesterday for the murder of Border Patrol agent Javier Vega Jr. Now, today, about nearly five witnesses testified. Among them was Yanira Espinosa and Victor Villarreal. Espinosa explained that she was fishing with her husband and her three children in Rio Hondo by the levy in July of 2014. She explained that four men approached her and her family at gunpoint demanding them to drop to the ground and hand over their belongings, including their car keys. No one was hurt and shots were not fired at this incident. However, it wasn't until Victor Villarreal testified having the same encounter around the same area in June. However, his experience was much frightening. They were like, give us your keys, give us your keys and your wallets, um, get on the floor, get on the floor. Um, then. You know, Brandon doesn't really know Spanish. It's like, what are you saying? I was just like, get on the floor. Just give him your wallet and whatever you have. Just give it to them. And then so they made us lay down on the floor, like in the dirt. And then they shot three times before they left. Both witnesses identified Tijerina Sandoval to be among the group of men that robbed them at gunpoint. Both incidents happened just about two months before Agent Vega Jr.'s murder. Now, a total of a total of 12 witnesses will be taking the stand for this punishment phase, which will resume tomorrow. Again, Tijerina Sandoval is facing the death penalty. Live in Brownsville with complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS4 Valley at 6.